How's it going guys? It's Big Gun Fun Fan 97. I hope you are having a great fantastic day. If you are, go ahead and leave a like so that can make my day great and make your great day make your day great as well. So I've been getting this question a lot, uh, how do you speed up videos? And it's not that hard really. Uh, you just wanna first have your video here and you wanna go into modify or modify. Uh, you wanna go into fast forward and it gives you four options. Uh, two, four, eight, and 20 times. Uh, this basically tells you that you're gonna speed up the footage, the original footage, two times of that speed. So if you have your normal speed, you're gonna speed it up eight times, then it's gonna be really fast. So if you just wanna speed it up to two times, it's gonna shrink it down. That's because it's um, decreasing the length of the video, which makes it smaller, not smaller, but it shortens the video clip which means it's going faster. If it's longer, that means the video clip is longer. So as you can see here, um, it used to be, uh, what is it, 40, like a uh, 45 seconds, and now it is 19 seconds. So it basically cut in half because it's two, because I speed it up two times. So if I were to play it, you can see that it's speed up two times. Now if I go into modify fast forward four times, you will see that it's now at five, six seconds. That means it's going this fast, which is pretty cool for a little uh, montage or a little time lapse, I mean. You can do it eight times, and this will shorten up to 0.4 seconds. So you can do it like this. This is perfect for time lapses. Depending, if you're gonna do a time lapse, I would suggest film, uh, filming at least five minutes of footage. It gives you the best results, trust me. You can do longer than that, but that's just a little tip of mine. Uh, I've never done a timeline, but I'm thinking of doing one. But uh, let's not get off of um, our subject here. So uh, fast forward 20 times, of course, this will go tremendously fast. And slow motion, let me go ahead and uh, put it back to normal size. Uh, if you actually, you will see a little bunny or a rabbit. Um, if you double click that, it gives you exactly the same presets that we've done on Modify, but it gives you more stuff. You can go, uh, this means you're going to slow it down. This means you're going to speed it up. So this means it's 100% um, original. Uh, that's the original video clip speed. So if I were to go to 50%, now it's longer. It's doubled um, the size of it. So if it was 40 seconds, it'd be about a minute or so. And that will slow it down to 50%. If I were to play it, you of course have to click off. It's gonna be really slow. So if I double click the turtle, now when, it's, when I slow down the footage, it turns into a turtle, which is pretty cool. You can do 25%. Again, this will be even slower or 10%. You can even have your custom time if you wanted to do that. Um, and there's another one. Uh, if you wanted, say, you're playing the video footage and you wanna speed it up, say if I were to play it from here, and then right there, I wanted to speed it up. So what I use is I use markers. If you're not used to, or used to Final Cut Pro 10, a marker is basically if you push, if you push, if you press M on your keyboard for markers, that will drop a a little marker symbol in your video video clip. So let me go ahead and play it. So right there. So right after this is where it ends. So it ends a little before. You can also we, uh, you can modify the marker, so just about we're just where it leaves off, so right, right there. So this is where it would end. You can add many, many uh, markers as you want, like that. Of course, I'm not going to do that. Um, so this is really handy. Um, if it's even more handy if you have the snapping on. So if you have, uh, let's see, where is it? It should be snapping. If you turn that on, it's gonna. If you move your mouse over, it's gonna snap automatically right here to the perfect center of the marker, which is where you left the marker at. Now, if you wanted to say you want to speed it up, you can right click, click split clip. This will split the clip where you left the marker at, or you can split it out anywhere. But this is better if you're using it for lyric videos or whatnot. You can use it every time as a keyframe. So now if I were to play it, and say I wanted to speed it up all the way up to here, I can just go to split clip, because I don't really care where the timing is. 
But if you were to be precise, you can add a marker there by pressing M and just uh, move your mouse, right click and then click split clip. Now, make sure that this is highlighted or whatever you're gonna be sp speeding up. So it's gonna be normal speed and then I wanna speed it up. So what I do is I wanna go to modify, fast forward, and I will speed it up four times. So now you can see that it gives you the rabbit logo right there. This, um, you can make it even smaller to your custom. Uh, this is just like a slider. Of course, whoops, the uh, snapping is on, so you can just add your own custom time there. So if I were to play it like this, it can speed up, and then it goes back down to normal speed. So this is really cool if you're going to be doing some time lapses if you uh, are interested in that. So that is basically it. If you guys want to leave a like in the description, that will help me a lot. And I hope you guys have a fantastic Christmas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a video tomorrow. It's going to be quite busy, so I won't probably make a video next week uh, for Christmas or Christmas Eve or Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But I will try to do one on Thursday. I doubt it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, expect some <laughs> delays. But if you guys... I'm trying to upload as many videos, so yeah. If you guys uh, subscribe, that will be nice if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.